Welcome to the tips and tricks how to rig an HPH shark. Let's start. Before we actually start rigging the glider, we need to do some preparations. First of all, we will lubricate all these connections here on the fuselage, on the elevator, on the inner wing and also on the outer wing. Not to forget the main bolt. So first of all, we need to clean it and then we need to spray some lubrication on it. From time to time, you can also put some lubrication here on the bearings. We need to adjust the flap lever to the negative position, so minus two, and the air brakes to a middle position here. And then we also need to check if the water ballast valves are closed. Now it's time to start rigging the glider with the left hand wing first. We will use two people. That's easier, but of course you can also use a one-man rigging aid and do it on your own. Let's start. Okay. Eight. A little bit backwards. Okay, perfect. And then we use the bolt here, main bolt, to secure the wing here on this side and on the lower side you should have a gap of about two millimeters. Now we don't have any gap down here so we can lift the fuselage or lower the outer wing. Now it is perfect and you can see if I wobble the fuselage a little bit it is also moving here. You need this little bit of play so that the other wing slides in easily with the bushing. Here, take care that you don't scratch your wing on this uh, pin. Let's insert the main bolt here and then we lock it. That's very important as well. We detach here this handle and there's one smart trick with this wheel here. You can just put your glider into the hangar without the outer wings. So you have 13 meters of wingspan for the hangar space and not 18 meter. And therefore it is really smart to have this wheel here, but I didn't know it before. <laughs> Need to take care with these pins so that flap and aileron is aligned. Okay, and then we have our special tool here. And now you can see that this one is moving down. We're at the end, half a turn back and you're fine. Perfect. Let me quickly show you the mechanism here, how to insert the bolt to attach the outer wing. You can rotate this clockwise, then you will put the bolt in there and counterclockwise, that's for disassembling and putting out the bolt. And then you should take care that you don't use too much of force to lock it at the end. Always try to have a half a turn going backwards again, because otherwise if there is a huge temperature change, you will lock this mechanism quite hard because of length change of the materials. So always put it back about half a turn and then you are fine. And then here is an indication that the bolt is completely inserted. At the end, it is flush here to the surface. And then here is another smart tip. You can use these rings here to attach the glider to the tie down. Okay, let's attach the elevator. First of all, you need to take care to align these pins. Okay. Then you press this down and this should go in without a lot of force. So be careful here, don't use and push a lot. You will damage something. Just push this down firmly and then use only a little bit of pressure. And at the end you check that this is also here flat to the surface. 
and can make a test here. Ah, that looks perfect. It's time to lower the gear. First of all, make sure that the gear doors are here free of all these parts so you won't damage the wheel doors. And then of course you need to have enough space here uh, to lower the landing gear. Otherwise you can lift the fuselage slightly and then we use this lever here. Don't use it too fast. In the Shark MS there are three different types of batteries. In the front and the nose here is the avionics battery. Here is the motor battery and then here we have the starter batteries. It is really important that you unplug the wires at night or during week because otherwise they will get discharged. The last step is to seal the gaps with tape and then of course we also need to make a pre-flight check but you can have a look at our next videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time.